Hey guys, so I on my crazy hair. I want to really chat with you, like really do like chat with you about something. So I am doing a series really soon. I don't know when I'm starting it because it's a few things are coming in the mail, like two different things. And it's kind of a like makeover series, but it's gonna be a final series of four parts, a four part series. I feel like I haven't done like a series in a while that like actually like more than one part, you know, like some good. So the first part, well, no, I don't know what can be what part because I haven't planned it out yet, but I know like the idea. And so there's four parts. One part is gonna be a hair makeover or hair transformation that can be like a fun one. And, and I ordered hair extensions now. They are colored. Like, okay, here's the thing. I was in between it or just dyeing my hair because like I like both ideas. But I realized, like, okay, we, the, this is not like crazy noticeable like anymore. At first, it was very noticeable, now it's like faded, and it looks really cool, and like, kind of, I'm really strict with my image, and I'm, as sad as it is, with dance, I feel like, like, a lot of things are actually, like, you gotta be kind of strict with your image sometimes, so, personally, what I mean by that is like, I I try not to do anything that's crazy colors or anything like I don't paint my fingers for two reasons. Well, actually, kind of three. First up, for me, in, in the first reason in being that if I do, I don't do like a bright color because I am a dancer and if you go to competition or auditions or something in the bright colors are going to draw attention to your fingernails instead of your dancing. And that's not really a good thing. And now it's a good thing if you have really horrible dancing. But if you actually train and you're actually good, that's a bad thing. And the second reason in being is that for me, it always feels weird. Like, it always, like, kind of feels weird. And part of that might be because um, I do have a habit. <laughs> Um, biting my nail, I bite my nail, and it never went on like stress or anything. No, it just they'll randomly bite my nail. Like I could literally just be sitting on the couch watching you eat to be perfectly happy, perfectly fine, and and I'll just start biting my nail for like no reason. And then that's part of why my fingernails never grow. Also, my fingernails just don't grow. So yeah, um. And then the third reason that I don't paint my nails is because it never sticks. It, like, never lasts. Like, literally, I'll paint my nails, and within ten minutes, it comes off. Like, I literally had them professionally done once to see, like, I like that life off. Like, see, because I'm not used to getting them professionally done. Like, we have people in our family that's really good at it and, like, professional. But yeah, for me, like, I literally went and got them professionally done, and by, like, the end of the day, it was coming off. Like, for me, nail polish just doesn't stick with my fingernail. But I do my toenail. And right now, this is my toenail. Okay, you can't really see. But right now, I have a little bit of color, and then I have this mermaid, like, magic nail polish that... Skylar got for me for Christmas. So I love because, I love it because uh, it's not really colored. Like it has a little bit of a purple to it, but for the most part, it's like really shiny and really pretty. So it doesn't bring as much attention, but like very shiny. So I'm really struck with my image about like when I'm wearing something that's not dance wear or something, and. And, like, if I'm wearing normal clothes, I'll go bright colors. And, like, if it's something that I can change and easily, like, really fast, then I, like, 
go bright colors and stuff because I love bright colors. But when it comes to like something like painting my nails or dyeing my something that I can't change that fast, ask then I am picky and I don't do bright colors. But I did order bright colored hair extensions because they're hair extensions, so I can easily take them out like i in minutes like I it doesn't take me that long to take them out you know oh uh, and then just have this color which isn't that bright and so this actually lasted a really long time and I love it like. I love it. And because we got splat hair dye and we got pink. And and basically, basically it's permanent. And the one that we got is permanent. There's like four or five different levels or something. And like, I got ours like the permanent level. And when we got it, it's permanent. Warning. And for me, here's the thing about my hair. My hair doesn't hold color for very long. Like, I, it's dark, it's kind of like, it's dark and it's, and it's like, to the point where it's so dark that like, right now, like, it's taking more of like, the black tone, but like, no, my hair takes tone some, so like, sometimes it will be like, the normal color that it is, which is like, the really dark brown. Um, but then sometimes it is, sometimes it takes like a black tone and it looks almost black. And sometimes it takes a red tone. And that, if you look at it in the light, just right, I, sometimes you can see red. And it looks like my hair is almost red. But my hair isn't, you know. And that, uh, you might be, oh, you dyed it or something, no. That's just something that's always been a thing. But I'm excited because we're doing a hair makeover part. We're doing a um, part that is a dance makeover where that kind of, you know, that is going to be kind of a fun one. I'm going to be dancing in heels. Now, here's the thing. I never worn actual heels. I worn wedges, which for those who don't know what wedges are, they're similar to heels, but a heel is like a point, and then it goes out like this, this and you have like a heel. But a wedge doesn't, so a wedge goes up, and then it's like this, so it's like a slant. So, I wish I had some tissue. You look it up if you don't understand. Basically, a heel is a point, and so it's like you got your point, and that's kind of like the heel part, or and then the rest of the shoe, versus wedges are similar, but there's no point. It's just kind of like all shoe, and so wedges are easier to walk in, I hear, than, um, than heels. But I don't know, so yeah. Uh, the reason that I never worn an actual heel is because um, for so long, my mom was so picky. And like, she won't let me like get shoes that were very high or like, I, anything like very high or anything. And then suddenly, and we basically then finally one time she let me, we were shoe shopping and she was letting me get like a pair of like heels or something. Like, cause I basically grew up with the tiniest heels ever. Like the heels weren't even that thick. And so she finally let me like pick out any pair of like heels I wanted. And she didn't care about height really. And I was so excited that day. like. I was so excited, and we got over $60 for the shoe, but in fairness, we only got two pairs, and like, my parents go like $30 and less side, so yeah, like, I you know, like, like, so I was very, very, very excited. 
excited. I'm telling you. And, and that time I got like a really nice pair of wedges by Nineley Westers, which, which um, is a really good brand of shoe and I recommend because they lasted so long. Like they were long lasting, like really good, like on the cheaper end of like shoes and I was so excited. And, and that time instead of getting tennis shoes, I got these boots that I regret so bad. Cause they're like Indian boots and like, I don't know what was. I just didn't like them. In fairness. Oh wait, I should probably hide this in a minute. I left this here, which go to a JoJo see was safe, but I made a video on it. So in a minute I will hide them. But yeah, it was like, I was really, I wanted these other shoes that were boots and they were actual like heels on them. Um, and I really wanted them because like, my sister had a pair similar, or but they didn't have my size. And so that was sad. Like, so instead I went with really like weird Indian boots. Everyone loved them. I kind of did at first because they were like different and they were like wedges on boots and stuff, but then, yeah. Also, my mom, I'm very like picky when it comes to shoes. She, you no, know, she's always been in the sense that nothing too expensive, you know, like, I, for a while, it was nothing with a heel of any sort, or unless she picked them out, you know, and then, and also for a while, and the funny thing is that, um, this, I found so dumb. So it was that for so long, I wasn't allowed to get tall boots. Like, tall boots, but the thing that I thought was dumb about was that she won't let me get tall boots, but she would let me get short boots. And so, like, that was kind of a thing. It was one of the weird things that I just never understood. And even looking back on it, like, I now looking back on it, the heels made sense because I'm like, I always been short, you know, and like, I basically like, like, she didn't want me tripping and falling and like that situation, but like, And like it was kind of a thing. And and so yeah. So like the heel made sense she don't want me tripping and falling. But the rest of it like I just never understood the tall boots thing. But now now, at this point, she just lets me get whatever shoes I want, really. But yeah, as long as they're not too expensive, you know, like, which is reasonable. Um, but also, that kind of fine with me because I never, like, I, when people buy, like, expensive shoes, I'm like, great, great for them, you know? But I never understood it because I never really tended towards, like, more expensive shoes. I always the tinted towards like the cheaper or shoes and stuff. I all like go kinda cheaper but I like I like it, you know, like save some money and I get some shoes. So yeah, like like for us like shoe shopping, anything more than thirty is like I over the top expensive for us. You know? 
But yeah, also then, but the dance makeover, I'm going to be dancing in heels and just being a m more mature dancer. Now, here's the thing. Becoming a more mature dancer and like a dance makeover, that doesn't happen overnight, obviously. But I'm at the point where really, uh, I'm at the point where and now dancing in heels, like for me, I'm at that point to where and it will happen overnight since I'm already pretty much there. I just need to learn how to dance in heels, which honestly looks, it looks a little challenging, but it also looks very, very fun and exciting and like, yeah, and if I end up liking them, like, because I know I probably will, um, I might be wearing them a lot, uh, like, because for me, the ones that we ordered, I'm pretty sure are black, because, um, I kind of forget that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Be I'm very excited about my heels because I, I never own, like, professional, like, dance shoes. Like, all of my dance stuff, most of it comes from, like, Walmart or Target or something. Well, not Target, although I did buy tap shoes and ballet shoes once from Target because we don't have a Target near, like, the near Target to us. In like 30 minutes and also my parents have always gone more Walmart or I'm kind of like both like both are equally good um, like for me it comes down to like what I'm looking for you know like that kind of what it is because if I'm looking for or like cheap like clothing Walmart 100% Walmart takes that if I'm looking for grocery shopping, I would say Walmart only because I know Walmart better. Like, I know, like, their grocery section and, like, you know, like, Walmart, like, I understand it more for grocery shopping. And now if I'm looking for, like, makeup or skincare and that sort of stuff, Target would take that. <laughs> and if I'm looking for, like, toys, Target. And well, for that, I would say both of them tie. I That one's kind of a tie because um, they're very different in their toy section. Like, I found with Walmart, are your, like, there's a lot of, like, little things and, like, a lot um a variety of things. So, yeah. Yeah, like, with Walmart, are like, there's, like, the My Life dolls and, like, I LOL and a lot of fun things versus with Target, it has the R Generation doll and a bunch of things. So honestly, it's a tie for toys. Now, if it comes down to snacks, I'm not like picky with that. I'm honestly not picky. I feel like Target would win for that. I'm going to Target them when it comes to snacks because. I, when I'm shopping for snacks, I like a quick grab and go, and like with Target, I feel like it's just simple. But yeah, it all depends on what it is. And if it comes to shoes, I'm kind of picky with that. Uh, that one's a tough one because I would say, I kind of want to say like Walmart for that. Walmart does have JoJo shoes. But also, um, like, yeah, Walmart would probably take the shoes. Only because Target, and I found that really hard to find my size shoe at Target. Also, with Target, they don't have JoJo shoes. Or I haven't, I never seen JoJo shoes in Target. But I have seen them in Walmart, so like, it depends. But yeah, I'm excited about heel. Also, I never own like actual heels. So it can be like fun. Um, and then I'm doing like another part that can be just, I'm like kind of changing to where now. Oh, I'm almost like being more picky. I'm like definitely 
Okay, I want to kind of do a little Q&A portion in the video, so I am. So the first question is, did, was there ever a time where you really took um, and started more of a teenager style or personality or anything like that? Uh, and if so, what age was that? So, fun fact about me, I probably will always be, and I always have been, a child at heart. Like, I, like, I literally have always been a child at heart. Like, I, I don't think I'll ever grow out of that. Like, I, I always gone towards, like, the JoJo, see what I'm like, I, I still shop in the toy section sometimes. Yawn. And mainly for slime. I definitely like slime and like JoJo. You know, and stuff like. I definitely am like a child at heart. But I will say that I definitely have gone towards more like teenager thoughts and more like the teenager style. Well, and that actually was when I was 15 when I turned. 15, that was something that I never expected. It was really shocking when it happened. And no, and what I mean by that is I'm still the same me, but like, I I definitely have a more teenager opinion. Like, when I turned 15, I really tended towards like the hair and the makeup, like that situation. But also, I feel like some. Like, even now, my attitude changed, like, a little bit with that. Like, for me, like, I'm, my attitude kind of, to where now, like, before, I would kind of, like, if there was something that, like, my mom would tell me to do or something, and I didn't want to do, I kind of would just, I'm like, like, kind of just get annoyed and, like, leave it at that situation. But then when I turned 15, that kind of changed to where you know, I would get annoyed before and like just leave it and like act like it's nothing and just walk away like I always have and like just do it anyway versus now I'm like, I'm trying to think of what the word is. Like, we'll get to that in a minute since my parents turn. Okay, I'm checking something really, really fast. I had to take a quick little quiz thing. I brought TV because it was on their Instagram story and I wanted to do it. So. Okay. I'm going to check because my parents or my dad was here, and I don't know if he still is. Yeah, one
But yeah. No, like. But now I'm like 15. So now I'll have a reasonable conversation with my mom. Like, I just feel like there's just been more. Like, here and there things I'm like. Yeah, definitely more teenager life. I, but fun fact, I never took my, I, the moody teenager thing, that was a big that even my parents were shocked about one. So I never went towards the moody teenager that, like, I, I kind of just went straight into being a very mature teenager and, like, have, like, good conversation in, like, that situation. And, but I also kind of knew that I was never going to go that way. Because I would never, like, disrespect my parents, you know, like, I'm good. So, yeah. So, the next question is, who was your valentine um, since your crush was not with you? Um, my dog, Sam. You know, Sam, I love you. Yeah, I love you, Sam. You can eat it. It's your biscuit, Sam. So he has a Bojangle biscuit, and like he's eaten most of it, but there's like a little bit. Left. And now he's just laying there looking at it, like he wants to eat it. But like, Sam, this is the first time that I've seen you actually do. Usually, if food's on the floor, it's his. And it's fair game, but no, he's being picky. So yeah, the next question is, when is merch coming out? The answer is three months. I promise you, three months. Um, for a while, you no, know, the thing with that was at first, was like, at first it was kind of the situation like, where I was kind of in between like finishing the room and like, I merch and that sort of just kept being postponed. And then I mean, this month, um, we finished the room because I put it to a poll. And now we are going straight for merch. So hopefully this month. So yeah, merch is coming. So yeah. So yeah, that's kind of just the thing. And and like ultimately even I mean the reason I put it to a poll in the past month was because um, we're so close to finishing the room, like, we were so close to finishing it, it needed a few finishing touches, and just to, like, have those few things to make it over the top, I feel like the room was very good, but it was entirely dance, and it was just missing a few here and there things to just, like, bring it over the top, and throughout, like, the room makeover, I got in red so much stuff, like, it's not even fun. Like, I got rid of my whole toy box worth of stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, then, but now it, like, it come together, it's not done, and don't get me wrong there, because we are adding two more things, but, like, the final two things is paint, and then mirrors, and, and we're also removing my white thing to, removing it to the classroom. Because it takes up space that I could be dancing. No, the reason is honestly it doesn't take up like space considering 
and that like the ballet bar is still there and like the ballet bar like I think takes up more space and stuff but in the sense that we want to put a mirror in there so the next question is when is the new album coming out your second album um and the answer to that is March 28th March 28th new album new album um is um, I'm so excited for, um, I, stay tuned because I'm, I'm, cause really, really soon I'm going to be announcing the title, because I had an album title for it, and then I realized, I, it just wasn't going to work, like, no, because the original album title was Wally, and that's great, but it just wasn't what I wanted. So, the new album title is coming soon, which I'm very excited for. The next question is, when is the next album songs for your first album coming out? So, I have four album songs out, out of 32. So, the next one is actually coming out, like, really, really soon, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, it comes out Wednesday. So, like, that's a fun little thing to look forward to. And I love the next album song. It's like, because the next album song, I feel like, it's going to be a very simple, fun music video. You know, very simple, fun music video. So it's going to be fun. Like, it's a fun, great song. With this one, it was kind of a last-minute, like, throw together because I realized I didn't think, and, like, I didn't think, in putting 32 album songs out for one album. I didn't realize how much work goes into it. But now it's like kind of on. So this one is fun. It is a little bit like thrown together last minute. But a lot of my songs are improv. Just so you know. Like so many of my songs. For me I found when I write a song. Like sit down pen paper write a song. Um... I love it, and I really honestly do love it, but it's not like, but I feel like for me that's a lot of work first up and second and up, it's kind of boring for me. I hate writing, like, it's a burning passion. So a lot of my songs I either come up with in my head, because that's a great way to make a song, because then if it's something like, I personally that has never worked though. Like it's a great it makes a good song. Um and then or I I'm in on the spot I just like whatever comes out of my mouth, like it's literally a song um entirely about you in that moment and you're being in that moment and like I when I'm recording the song whatever like, whatever I'm feeling, you know, like, that becomes a song. Um, but I do often, like, come up with, like, I, a concept. So I do often come up with the con for a song, and then I just go with that concept. And stuff, but it actually works. Like, uh, I'm crazy as it is to say, like, I'm improving a song. Um, it works sometimes. And it just makes, I feel like I have a really strong connection with them more because it's how I actually feel. You know, another question is, have you ever made a song or do you ever plan to make a song that isn't based off of your life or how you feel? The answer to that is no. I never made a song like all of my songs. Um, either I feel that way, like even I did one that was titled "Life Is Like a Party" or something, and and even that one I like, I was like it was kind of about how I have a great life, you know, and I'm really thankful for it. And so like even that song, I truly like. I, I do have a great life, even though I do complain a lot how I miss my crush, and that's kind of like, 
the thing that like makes the life not great. For the most part, I do have a really great life and I do love. Now, to answer the question, do I ever plan to? Far as right now, no. I person, but I don't know the future, you know, like, so in the future, I could make a song on about something that has nothing to do with how I feel or what I think, you know, and it could just be like a great song that I come together with, or with, but for the most part, no, because I really like having a connection, so all of my songs are either how I feel or like something that I've been through or something. And the next album is a really positive, fun album. So I really put a lot of thought into it. And Sam's being cute, and now I want to kiss him. So give me a second. I'm, he's not going to let me because of his biscuit. Okay. So that. But the next one, I get to, to like, use the dance hammock a lot. And then, and also, it's, like, really, really fun because... Then also the second, or the um, sixth album song comes out soon after that. So like, that's kind of good. I don't have a date for it. I'm thinking, and it depends on how, how Wednesdays go. If Wednesday a song goes good, and if I don't feel completely tired, then it will probably be Saturday, you know? But I don't know. Also, I'm annoyed because... Uh, yesterday I filmed the podcast and that was Valentine's Day thing and it's just uploaded like or it may not even be uploaded but like for the most part said that was mostly uploaded so I'm like kind of annoyed about that so the next question is do you plan to do any more album songs or more albums basically after your second one for now I'm going to say, I feel like, here's the thing, I can't really answer that question, because I don't know the future, or, okay, I know some parts of the future, but, like, that's the thing, basically, I'm going to have, like, it where sometimes I'm, I'll, like, kind of see something in the future, but I can't predict the future, you know, like, I'm a human, I can't predict the future, or I may have feelings sometimes that something might happen in the future, or, and stuff, um, and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but for the most part, I don't know, I really enjoy music, like, that's something that I really enjoy, like, and that was something that, like, I'll let you eat your biscuit. But yeah, like, for the most part, I, you know, I really enjoy doing music. Like, that's something, like, and I really love doing songs and stuff. So I have a good feeling that I probably will, but I don't know. So I'm going to answer a few more questions. By the way, I came up with all of these. Um, so the next question is, Will there be a room tour video once the room is done? And the answer is yes, that video should be coming. And I got to talk with my dad about when we are painting it and stuff because he's in charge of, like, I, him and my mom are paying for the paint and also the mirrors, maybe. We don't know. I'll see. And because he mentioned paying for them at one point, but also, I don't really know. Um, oh, and also my niece, or Bella's sister, can't come for me for this. The reason I wanted to say this real is a long time ago, ago we had an agreement that, um, my parents weren't paying for anything, anything but the bed because, like, like, because they do have a tendency to spoil me and stuff, um, and she can't go up against it since, and I bought the JoJo tent that is now at a little girl, or that we know house. We gave it to the whole girl. 
that were related to insomnia. Uh, and I sleep in a sleeping bag. But part of the main reason is that part of the main reasoning of that and it's still one item. So yeah, pretty much we're definitely that that. No, like it's a thing. But yeah, the next question is going to be in what is your plans in a year? Now the truth is I don't have any. I'm sorry, like I just don't have plans and for a while like I career wise right now I am kinda of sad because like, we made it to, like, we made it to 61 subscribers, and that was really exciting for me, and I guess I kind of learned. Like, I learned not to celebrate it, because every single time that I celebrated it, like, a new goal of subscribers, every single time, we kind of lost them. And it's like, or... We kept the new one, and we lost an old one or something. And like, what I mean by old one is like, I, I someone that's been subscribed for a really long time or something. And and it almost feels like a lot. And sometimes it feels like some of my subscribers are only because, um, they feel bad that I don't have like a ton of subscribers because, like. You know, but we are back down to 59, and that, honestly, I'm not, like, I'm not going to be too complaining, but I'm also not going to be, like, too thrilled, because I work really hard for this, and, yeah, and a lot of fun videos are coming soon. I'm currently working on my list of video ideas and stuff, like, so, yeah, and, We'll just see, you know, like, that situation. So, the next question that I'm doing is, and is, um, what is the next goal that you are trying to reach that isn't social media related or career related? Um, honestly, it's driving because really soon we are hopeful. Well, um, here's the thing. I don't know when we're getting my driver from because we talked about it, and then it kind of just. But we talked about like doing it soon, but then like it kind of just never came and talked again. Since I am fifteen, you know, like so at this point we don't know, and yeah, so I'm am really excited to be driving. No, that's something that I'm excited because I, I definitely, like, run, because it means, like, driving is fun, like, I, well, no, I don't know if it's fun or not because I've never done, but in the sense that and it sounds like a fun idea, since then I could, like, I go and see Bella a lot, and, like, it would just be fun for, like, me and Bella, like, run. But that's not happening for like over a year because I don't have my license or my permit yet. But you know, in the works. So the next question is, what happened with you and Bella's friendship? This is one that kind of a bigger question. And we are honestly really great friends. I honestly, I'm kind of annoyed though because it's almost upsetting to me, like, now, because, like, me and Bella are, like, the bestest of friends. Like, literally, like, yes, and Bella does have other friends, and ultimately, she said, I'm prob like, at this point, like, it saddens me, like, um, because basically she like Bella gets busy, but like at to the point where it's almost fake. It like sometimes it's almost like she's making it up because no one is so busy that you can't FaceTime your best friend. 
for four months straight and you don't have two seconds to reply, but yet you have time to post on TikTok. And you have time to, like, like hang out with other friends and, like, do all these fun things, but you don't have time to, like, take two seconds and, and tell your best friend, hey, I'm alive, I'm good, how are you, you know, or, like, FaceTime your best friend or call them. And so it's kind of annoying in the sense that I feel like, I don't know because I just feel like sometimes she's making it up. Like, now, some stuff, um, I fully, the thing about it is some stuff I believe, like, I know, like, I, one time she texted me saying, sorry, I can't FaceTime right now. I'm busy cleaning, you know, normal, you know, it, like, some of it I believe, but also with Bella, I don't think she would lie in the thing. But the thing about it is that she never gives me a reasoning. And so it's upsetting. And for the most part, I don't know. And at this point, I honestly don't know. Because our friendship means a lot to me. Like, I'm the one that, even though I'm busy a lot, like, I'm busy with dance rehearsal, filming, um, doing social media, and, like, living my dream of social media. Yeah, I still, like, at least, like, every day usually, like, it depends on the timing, like, if I talk to her, like, I, then, like, the next day, or, like, I, I, the next two days, I won't, like, really FaceTime her or anything, like, but, like, for us, like, I still stay in contact, I still reach out, like, I'll still FaceTime her sometimes. I'm um, going text her and I don't get a response. So, like, that's kind of annoying. I am, at this point, making the decision where I'm going to wait until she um, receives her birthday gift since we did send her a birthday gift. And it does say to FaceTime me. I mean, that kind of involves the gift because it's something kind of with FaceTime. I'll explain once I find out from her mom if they got it. And, but right now, I am planning a backup for the big part. And the reason is because um, there was a big part and I wish I would have told him sooner that she was supposed to be playing, which was younger me, like me when I was like eight or nine years old, like a nine-year-old me. You know, and that's, like, a really big part, and it's, like, really special. But, I didn't, like, here's the thing. I didn't, like, it, I don't see anyone else playing that part. So, if Bella doesn't FaceTime me, I'm changing the part to something different. Also, for the reasoning that I want on it to be something that, that is a little bit easier on me to find someone to play the part. So if you want a big part in, if you want a big part in, I wish I would have told him sooner. No one is being paid or anything like that. But it's just fun experience and you're helping me launch my career, you know, like you're helping me like launch it and just make it as best as it can be, you're helping in five-year-old, like the me that I was when I was five, dreaming of this. You're helping in me get to look back and say, hey, I did it. I, I succeeded on a big dream of mine. So just DM me on Instagram, Andy Forever, and I think I got an idea of what the part will be changed to. So yeah, but I am gonna wait until she receives her birthday gift, and and if she doesn't face on me, then oh well. I won't, like, okay, here's the thing. I'm never going to tell Bella you're not doing the music thing. 
she just won't do the big part. She might have like a smaller part in it still, but like, now if she doesn't get a video in by March 21st, then she's not doing it because I'm, I'm editing it that day and like getting it uploaded. So there, for the most part, I think me and Bella are cool. I think we need to work some things out though. Peace out.